Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Master Chief's secret helmet in Halo 1. So, as you guys all probably know by now, during the ending of Halo 1, we see Master Chief taking his helmet off. And as he's taking it off, the camera kind of pans out of the way. Now, in anniversary graphics, if we look very closely, you can see that the helmet he takes off is not the helmet he's actually wearing in, you know, in the cutscene. Or even in gameplay, it's like a very different helmet. And then, if you ever notice in Legendary graphics, he's a he actually has no helmet at all. And this is all in Anniversary graphics. So Legendary is kind of broken, and then in anything below Legendary, the helmet is different. So, back in Halo CE Classic, you know, back in the day and in Classic graphics, when he takes his helmet off, first of all, underneath is another helmet. But the helmet that he takes off, you know, it's, the, it's identical to the one he's wearing. Whereas, the one on MCC and CE Anniversary, the helmet, it's, like I said, it looks weird, and this is an up-close look at the helmet. This is actually thanks to Lord Sid that filmed it for a, uh, a video I did, uh, like, several months ago. But this helmet, it's like a, it's like a hybrid classic anniversary helmet, sort of. At least that's, the, that's what the design looks like. And on the inside of the helmet, there are actually eyes in there. Master Chief's eyes in Halo 1, so to speak. And I don't know why this helmet exists. I don't know why it's a different helmet. Now, by playing this part of the scene in free camera mode, it causes the scene to go into classic animations instead of the anniversary animations. And with classic animations, Master Chief actually pulls off this helmet instead. And notice how he puts the helmet by his side and then holds onto it. That's the same animation as in the classic graphics, where he takes his helmet off and puts it by his side. When actually in anniversary graphics, using anniversary animations, he takes the helmet off, puts it by his side, and it reaches for the console again. So that's the difference between anniversary and classic animations. But for some reason, in anniversary graphics, when it's using the old animations, he pulls out that totally different helmet. And that's the helmet we'll be taking a look at for this video. So let's spawn it in-game, with uh, just simply by shooting it out of a pistol. It is a scenery object in the game files, so we could easily spawn it out, and it stays floating for us conveniently as well. But this is that helmet that Chief took off in Anniversary Graphics, but with the glitched classic animations. So, there you have it. That is, uh, this is an up-close look at what that helmet looks like. Now, I could not find the other helmet in the game files. The, uh, the anniversary, the actual anniversary helmet that looks like a classic hybrid helmet. I couldn't find it anywhere. I, I wanted to spawn it in too for side-by-side -side comparison, but it wasn't anywhere to be found. I could only, uh, find this helmet, because this helmet is actually the same one as the one used in the classic graphics. That's why it's, it was easy to find and it could be spawned in. But I think the other one only exists in like the the Saber files for CE Anniversary, like for the Anniversary stuff. Uh, but anyways, we are going to take a look at this one in Anniversary graphics now because this one, you know, you're, you're never ever supposed to see it actually in Anniversary mode, whether in cutscene or in gameplay. Because, like I said, in the anniversary cutscene, he takes off that other weird helmet. But this helmet, like I said, is the one, the same one in classic graphics. It's just in anniversary graphics, it's like, it's unfinished. It doesn't have all the right colors or textures, and it's like low detail and a visor. But, see, when I switch to classic graphics, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the one that Chief holds in the cutscene. Although the visor, I don't know. It kind of looks different to me, but I think that might just be because of the lighting that's uh, here at this part of the mission versus in the cutscene. But this should be the same helmet that Master Chief uses in the cutscene that he takes off in classic graphics. And then it's just in anniversary graphics, for whatever reason, when Saber remastered the game, they chose not to reuse it. Or I think at first they wanted to reuse it, and that's why the new helmet has some improved details to it. But then I guess like at some point in development early on, they decided to scrap it and just make that new helmet f with a new animation for it. Why they did that, I, I don't know, but this is basically what's left of the classic helmet in anniversary graphics. Uh, it Some details look almost the same, while other details like the textures look a lot more higher quality, but like, you know, some of the, uh, the patterns on it, the designs are completely identical and maybe using the same textures there. But overall, I, I don't know, I think the helmet is kind of like a upgraded classic helmet, but like unfinished. So that's, I don't know, that's, to me, that's what it looks like. But yeah, so this helmet was just simply 
never used in a final game. Well, it, it is used in classic graphics, but not in anniversary graphics. And the anniversary helmet is an even bigger mystery to me. I guess that's another secret helmet, but that helmet is not as secret because that's the one you actually see in the cutscene. So that's why I wanted to show this one instead, because this one you never actually see in anniversary graphics. But the other one, like I said, is interesting in its own way, just because like the way it looks, it's uh, the detail of it up close, it just looks... I, I wish they would have just used this helmet instead. This helmet is much more highly detailed than the other one. But the other one, like I said, is interesting because if you look inside the helmet, if you want to go back to the beginning of the video, it does have Chief's eyes in it, which is pretty weird. Uh, maybe it's a little hidden Easter egg or something, I don't know. But both helmets are definitely unique, but this helmet in anniversary graphics is pretty much never seen uh, before anywhere. But yeah, so hopefully you guys did find this video to be interesting. And if you did enjoy it, then as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you have any other questions or anything else for me to check out or look into or investigate, just let me know and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get the chance. But other than that, if you haven't already, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.